You may not know this, but more than 2,000 years ago, the Romans had already developed advanced tunnel building techniques. To bring water from Lake Albano into the city, they cut long underground channels directly through solid rock. Before excavation, workers applied waterproof mortar to the walls to prevent leakage and installed wooden arches to support the roof. Without modern machines, speeding up excavation was a major challenge. Roman engineers solved this by digging vertical shafts about every 30 meters along the slope. This allowed several teams to work at the same time, provided light and air underground, and made it easier to remove excavated material. Keeping the tunnel's direction and slope accurate was crucial. Workers hung plumb lines inside the shafts and adjusted the digging based on small deviations to maintain the correct gradient. In low areas, extra wooden supports were added. When the water route needed to cross a valley, they built stone arches instead. Stonemasons assembled hollow stone blocks to form an enclosed channel that carried water across. If the valley was too deep, they added more arch layers, creating tall, multi-level bridges built with tens of thousands of stones and thousands of laborers. The Romans also paid close attention to water quality. To remove sediment, they built settling tanks near the source. These mortar-lined tanks guided water through several chambers where heavier particles settled, allowing only clear water to flow onward into the city for baths, fountains, and private households.